What's up Shirts Media Pros today? I've got five capture cards that you can connect to OBS. Check it out. Welcome back to Church Media Pro. My name is Aaron Ward and on this channel we talk about all things uh, church media production and advertising. And if you like this channel, I would highly recommend you smash the like button. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more uh, content just like this. I come to you about two to three, maybe four days a week uh, with new content. A lot of it is related to uh, production equipment. Um, some of it is related to production process and some of the things that we deal with specifically as church media pros. And then I also talk about advertising guys. So I hope that you enjoy this channel. Hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell please before we move on to the content so um, with that I want to jump into my screen here I've got uh, five capture cards as mentioned um, that I want to talk to you about these are the budget capture cards that you'll see um, when you uh, jump on amazon.com and in fact um, when you type in capture card for streaming in Amazon you get a plethora guys of different capture cards and it is overwhelming so this is actually the second page, I, I believe. Let me go to the front page here, um, just to show you how many we, we start with. And uh, you know, we've got so many options here. We've got uh, Elgato, we've got um, a generic, just capture card, no, uh, no actual branding on that one. EVGA, have never heard of that. KAKF, never heard of that. Uh, HDMI video card, another unbranded, uh, you know, option probably from overseas most of these are going to be made overseas so nothing wrong with that but uh first and foremost i'm going to start with the one that i'm actually using right now for this video it's the um the <laughs> i'm not even going to say this it's a video capture card it's one of the cheapest ones 19.99 and uh it is it works phenomenally guys especially for single camera use I've got a couple of these. I use them for uh, for uh, my YouTube channel. I use it for video capture for my pastor's, um, you know, uh, video assets that he does by himself. So um, this one is the uh, the cheapest one that I'll start with here, and I'll uh, put links to all of these in the description below so that you have a quick reference if you want to just pick these up. But for twenty dollars, this one is fantastic. Does 4K HDMI? Um, you know, actually, this one actually only does 1080p, but does that say 4K? in the description now don't get confused i believe it only does yeah 1920 by 1080 uh, max resolution is 4k so it's a it's a little bit uh confusing i do think we can put 4k into it but i don't think you're actually getting 4k out of it so even if you if you have a 4k camera you can definitely plug your 4k camera into it but i do think uh the resolution on the other end is going to be 1080 at the most 60 frames per second is great for streaming guys and uh, super widely used um, audio is good uh, audio will be a slight delay but not noticeable enough to where you, it's, it's frustrating if you're watching this video um, you know and you and, and you notice the delay that's you're superhuman <laughs> the only re reason why you're, you would notice any difference is if you were using the next one on my list uh, side by side and this is the Elgato uh, cam link this is probably the most ubiquitous as far as uh, users of YouTube uh, using capture devices this is often used in churches guys 100 bucks 110 bucks um, you know uh, currently on sale for 110 um, uh, sometimes you'll see it for 130 rarely though it's it's gonna be in this price range most of the time and uh, you can do um, I believe you can do 4k with this one so um, this one has max resolution um, yeah, stunning quality up to uh, 4K at 30 frames per second, um, which is great if you want to do that. I don't need that. I don't, I honestly, um, if you're streaming to Facebook and YouTube, you can't uh, do anything higher than uh, 1080 on YouTube anyway. And though you can stream in 4K to YouTube, it's not recommended and um, it's just going to bog you down. And really, who? It's, it's not really a thing that anybody's going to care that much about. So 1080 is fantastic for your live stream anyway. Um, this is just going to give you a little bit more uh, clarity, maybe a little bit more assurance on longevity. I've had my, uh, my uh, $20 capture card for, uh, for months now. I got it back in August of last year. I've not had a single issue with it. So um, as far as longevity goes, you know, I record uh, YouTube videos um, three to four times a week. Uh, between 
uh, this channel and my other channel, which I talk about uh, the, uh, cryptocurrency, Ethereum in particular. If you want to capture, check that out, feel free to jump in. I have the, uh, a link to that in the description below. But um, so between all the seven to eight videos that I do a week for both of my YouTube channels, I've not had a single issue with the uh, the cheaper version of um, you know this this uh, U, uh, USB version here. So nothing too uh, too phenomenal of a difference to make it a uh, you know 5x higher uh, um, you know purchase, except for the the CamLink logo. Honestly. Um, you are getting a better, little bit better uh, resolution if you want to actually stream in 4K and you're getting slightly faster um, audio conversion so that you have even less delay than you see in this current video. But it's honestly, again, if, you, if you're if you noticing uh, extreme delay in this video, you're superhuman to begin with. So moving on from that, I want to show you a couple of PCI Express options. Um, Elgato has their own and this one is just a single in, single out, so it doesn't give you much more than uh, than the USB version, except for you, uh, you know, you you can plug it into your PC. Um, Mac users, you're gonna have to get a, a chassis for this, and a PCI Express chassis, um, not too expensive to that. Um, I might try to find a link in Amazon for that as well if you want, but uh, these are for the PC users out there. Um, uh, Elgato is a great name in, in capture cards. This one is definitely going to be more often used for, um, you know, uh, video game streaming. So, um, the nice thing about it, it does have the output so that you can have a preview monitor of sorts on your setup if you'd like to. And that's what's um, really great about this one. So, for an extra hundred dollars, you have an output that gives you a, a clean feed um, of your, uh, of, of your, um, your your OBS stream so that you can uh, you can either use it as a second monitor or you can uh, run it out to a uh, an encoder box. Um, you could run this into uh, uh, into um, one of the many encoder boxes out there. I'll, I have a video on encoders if you want to check that out. I'll link that as well. So um, next, I want to talk about the uh, Black Magic options. Black Magic is probably the most commonly used name in uh, church media production, which is hilarious uh, considering the name. However, uh, they are the uh, least expensive as, uh, as far as these sorts of products go, and their ecosystem is fantastic. So from cameras, to capture cards, to switchers, to encoders, they've got everything covered for you. And um, and fairly rock solid, honestly. Like, I've had some uh, Black Mag Magic uh, converters go down, but I haven't had a lot of trouble with their switchers long term. Like I have had uh, one go down, but it was in a rack next to a bunch of others and it, I think it just overheated, honestly. So that was on my, my, uh, my it was my bad, honestly, in, in that regard, I think. Having them together and on all the time for so long, it just, they just, um, one of them just uh, burn out. But um, these capture cards are great. This one's a four input uh, 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 HDMI version. So you can get up to four HDMI uh, camera or cameras into your OBS system if you'd like. These are great for multi-camera solutions. Um, the uh, USB ones actually do work just fine for multi-cam as well. You just have to have, to have enough inputs on your uh, you know desktop or laptop or whatever using to uh, run into OBS. In like right now, I could have up to three of these connected um, as well as my power um, if because they do come with this. Uh, USB-C uh, connection, which is fantastic, because then you get the um, the advantage of being able to use them on a on a um, USB-C device as well. Um, I actually have one specifically that has a USB-C uh, connection on the end. Um, it was the same price. I think it was uh, 20 bucks. This one gives you the option to do either, which is fantastic. But um, you can use those all together. So you could spend, you know, uh, $80 on four of these then plug them into multiple USB ports, or you could just get a single PCIe uh, card for quite a bit more money, obviously, but um, these are gonna be a little bit faster. You're gonna have some internal processing on this as well, and it will give you a little bit better performance, and it does go UHD and 4K as well on these, and you get all the audio options. Now, I think you can do that with the USB as well, so it's um, just, just as long as your uh, OBS isn't confused, um, this this might be a little bit easier for your OBS to uh, to think 
about, if you will, and uh, to process, you might get less issues. Uh, you're definitely gonna get zero issues with timing um, with this. I, running multiple cameras in uh, through U, uh, USB, you could get some uh, delay issues where you won't get that with the Blackmagic design just because it's a single unit doing the processing for you. So um, this one here is the SDI version. Um, I personally have installed this a couple, a couple of times. The great thing about this guy is that you get four in and one out. In fact, you can uh, designate any of these to be outs or ins, and I, I believe at least, uh, I believe you can at least do two outs at once if you wanted to. But the great thing is you can you can switch them back and forth. So um, SDI uh, cameras are less common than, than HDMI, but um, this is a setup that we have here at, at my church right now. Um, the, uh, the, the PTZ cameras from Sony are fantastic. They're not as, uh, as cinematic looking as say, um, you know, the, 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 the C100s that we're using at front of house for our, uh, and, and roving cameras. But if you just want some good solid, uh, you know, side angles that you can adjust with this joystick, um, and you can, uh, zoom and pan and tilt and all the, that good stuff. Um, I, th I recommend this system for good uh, side cameras and they do have both HDMI and SDI outs on these. And, um, and so SDI is fairly common with PTZs. It is also somewhat, semi common with, um, with some camcorders as well. So if you're into uh, cheaper, um, small sensor cameras rather than going cinematic with all of your cameras, I recommend going SDI. You're gonna be able to run the signal longer distances without having to uh, boost the signal and, uh, and it's gonna be a, a nice clean feed for you at your capture card. So with that guys, that's actually six. I've given you a bonus one. Um, with the, uh, the HDMI and SDI versions of the Blackmagic, um, let's call it six for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which capture card you're using at your church. I would love to see a little bit of discussion there or jump into our Facebook group, which is linked below and, uh, and ask any questions that you might have in the group, guys. We're, we're, we answer questions pretty quickly. I have a couple guys uh, that go to church with me that will answer questions there, as well as a large community of church media pros. If you like church media production, advertising, and coffee, guys, go over to FriedrichsCoffee.com. Get yourself a bag of roasted to order uh, coffee that is, is roasted the day it's sent on the truck, so you get the freshest coffee available. FriedrichsCoffee.com. The, the, they are a mom and pop shop that is a personal customer of mine and they do help me support this channel by selling coffee on this channel. So they're, they're, uh, they're members of our church guys and we love uh, Friedrichs over here at Church Media Pro. Um, they will ship for free anywhere in the continental United States using uh, the code uh, SHIPFREEUSA at checkout. So check those out if you're into coffee as well as uh, church media production and advertising. With that guys, thank you so much for watching and God bless.